Well, we're done with another sprint. Uh, the And there's a blog out there if you're interested. Uh, I'll post along the blog uh, with the inside of my Discord. But I have one task left still before I can close out the sprint, sprint called make a video on the template replacement. So this is a video. The uh, template is over. I, I've gone ahead and, and zipped it up and put it out on the Google Drive and it's in the transfer folder. So if you look at it, it's it's a zip file. It's pretty good size. It's 20 gigs. Um, go ahead and download it. Uh, and once you get it on your hard drive, click, you know, click, click it. I mean, as you, you know how to do that. So uh, if you look and I, I put my, here's where I put my uh, projects. You can put them more where you put your own real projects. Uh, and it'll be Moose version one. Uh, this is maybe the last push of version one. I may go to version two this next sprint. Uh, probably that after this next sprint. The, uh, you know, and you click this to open the, the project. And you'll immediately get this message and that's because I've deleted the binaries and the intermediate files and stuff to make the zip file smaller so all, all, all this you do is you say yes and it'll rebuild it for you uh, so I will pause and let it rebuild all right it's rebuilt uh, and opens the project the uh, as I show in the blog here and we've talked about what I was trying to do here is uh, I have the folders uh, now with red or green or yellow. Uh, red meaning their development folders, which you're certainly going to look at, but I mean, it's the blueprints and camera stuff I've done and the DMX stuff and various different things. Green are the ones that are intended uh, to, for building uh, maps and, and, and support of those maps. So it's all the, the maps folders underneath this maps folder as well as the movies folder and the movies folder is where you where you put if you're using a um, uh, on real media screen not the not the media screen that i uh have in the game but one for example we use uh you can use it uh blue Bell used it to uh, build dance floors and so that's where you would stick your movies normally it's a, a general spot where uh, in, in unreal engines where, where, where people put things like that for their games maps it's broken down by region so there's greens that there's the city the community region the fantasy region outback rural and so on so those shared assets is that folder that I, that was you know if you have something like you're using a bunch of things like you know i just recommend using the shared assets folder although, although as long as it's underneath this maps folder that's all it really counts but it's to try to keep things um separate because they'll be sharing this this will be you know different people will be in these things so to, as long as you keep it in the area you're working i think that's good so let's look at you know like space and i have the four venues that we'd planned and these may change over time obviously and if you open up alien planet uh, uh there's a bunch of folders that i put out there and if you open up maps you see uh a map and the pal uh, file and the pal file is, is again it's a a primary asset label file and what that does is it it tells the asset manager in unreal engine that when it builds uh the the the, the game here uh to create a, a separate file uh, a compressed file with all the assets associated with alien planet and that way what it does uh, is it even uh will uh, have the executable and and its supporting uh, files which are called um, pack files uh, when, when it goes to the person's desktop will be also isolated by uh, each one of these uh, regions. So there'll be th at least 37 of these uh, pack files that are created because the pal file is telling you, you know, each, each uh, um, venue uh, map you do with all its assets, put it in a separate uh, compressed file. The reason you do that again, of course, is because then when they download the game, if you haven't made any changes to that, it, you know it's smart enough to know in the download from Steam that hey, you don't need to push, you know, they don't, you don't need to put Alien Planet, for example, on their on their hard or their mat or their uh, hard drive anymore because it's already there if they've downloaded it previously. So here we go, Alien Planet uh, would be it, and if I clicked it, 
it's not going to be the alien planet yet because this is an example of one that hasn't been started yet. So what you get is just get this the template, the old template. So basically, it's got all the DJ lights, it's got fog, it's got a weather system, it's got uh, a house lights up here, uh, and it's got some walls and a floor. And you know, generally, what I would do is I'd go in here and first thing I do is delete the walls, and then then I would start bringing in my assets from uh, the other build. Uh, uh, I will make some videos on that next time I make a build. But my general approach is to go, you know, go to the build. And a lot of times, you're, if you're adding it from an asset pack from the um, store, you know, it'll say, "Do you want to include it in a, in a project?" And then I'll usually put it in its own, you know, its own folder. So, like, if I dance club, it would have a folder called dance club that's at the at the top level. And what then I do is then I move the 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 assets from that dance club folder to the folder I wanted it in. So if, if I was, had bought some kind of build that was an alien planet kind of build that I bought off the marketplace, I would transfer those assets into here before I even started and then delete the, the folder that, you know, that was created by uh, the Unreal Engine marketplace uh, downloading it into here. And if it's a separate project, you can do the same thing. I mean, this is just migrating uh, and I'd be glad I'll show more of it in some videos in the future. But I'd be glad to help you with that at, at any point. You know, just just hit me up and we'll, we'll get on a shared call and, and you know, we can talk about how I do it and what I found with that stuff. It's pretty easy, really, once you get started with it. Uh, but you can also make a mess. <laughs> the So the, the, that's it. So you go in there and you go change these. So that that's, that is the template. Again, you got it off the, the uh, shared area. Uh, got it from here. And it takes a while to download. And the thought process is here is this won't, I'm not going to go keep pushing this every sprint. I'm going to only per, per, you know, push it um, uh, if there's an absolute reason why we want it. Because the game, from my perspective, the structure is not going to change much, I hope. Uh, so it'll stay stable for a while. And, you know, if I make some, you know, changes to the way something works with a, an avatar, it's not that big a deal. You know, you've got an avatar right now in this, this, this build that you can walk around. I change how it looks, you know, make movies, whatever. It's a game. But now now I want to talk a little bit about the actual folder structure. So if I look at the folder structure under Moose, you know, you, you unpacked it. There's a new file in here, uh, and we haven't talked about this before, but it's how you test. You can't test anymore uh, with the game like you did when you had the template where you just say play, you know, play in the editor, because it'll throw an error that says, uh, Steam error. Uh, it can't do it. So you have to have Steam started. So, you know, check to see that you've got, you know, Steam started. But what there is is the batch file in here called test.bat. So if I open that up, um, edit it, and I look at it, it's just got one line in it. And it basically is, this is, um, tells it to start the editor. So it starts, a, this is a command line instance of starting the editor. And then it says start the editor with this project. So you have to go in here and change this batch file to where you have your UE4 editor and also where you put this, this, uh, this project, you know, your folders probably may be different than mine. You know, you may want to consistently make them the same as mine, but you don't have to. Uh, but you have to change this file. And then what you do is you just execute this batch file when you want to test. So, so ba I'll show you basically what that means. I mean, so if I, I, I would go ahead here. Now I've got the file. I've got, I've got this one open. So I'm, I'm going to test. I would click test up bat, and it would start it. And so that's how you test it. And it will, will throw you into the game. So it just started the game. So you would look in here, you play the game, you test to see that it looked like the way you wanted it to. Uh, and then uh, it would, uh, so, you know, it'd enter sandbox and you'd go where we were going. Look, this was a space one maybe, and you were looking at the alien panel on it. And you'd say edit or, or event. You know, the difference between edit and event is edit is, is the, um, this is in the game itself. Uh, the player would click edit if they wanted to add props to it and, and move it around. They'd click event if they wanted to have an event with other people joining it to, to actually do a show. Uh, and you know when they click edit and save it, you see in the videos, it'll go create 
you know, uh, saved versions of, of, of the venue that they, they've made changes to. Save. Uh, so you, you would test it here. So that I just, you know, just that's my point uh, here. You, you wouldn't test in the editor anymore. And I'd be glad to help uh, once you guys get it downloaded and have got any questions. Uh, that kind of, that'll wrap up my Trello list. Yeah, I get to close that out. I, I normally, uh, I could show you, I suppose, uh, the little party I have. No, but I'm not going to. Every time I close out a sprint. Talk to you later. Bye.